Japan has actually sent a moon lander called Hakuto R as part of the Google Lunar XPRZE competition. It's a robotic spacecraft designed to explore the lunar surface. Welcome back to our channel, Cosmic Era. Join us for space information. Today, we discuss about the Japan's successful moon landing mission. Japan has become the fifth country to soft land a spacecraft on the moon, using precision technology that allowed it to touch down closer to its target landing site than any mission has before. However, the spacecraft might have survived on the lunar surface for just a few hours, owing to a power failure. Telemetry data showed that the smart lander for investigating moon Stelem touched down in its target area near Shioli Crater, south of the lunar equator early Saturday morning. It landed four months after lifting off from the Tanegashima Space Center off the south coast of mainland Japan. Countries landing on moon before Japan. The Soviet Union, Intercosmos, the United States, NASA, China, CNSA, India, ISRO, and Japan, JAXA, are the only five nations to have successfully achieved soft landings. Japan follows the United States, Russia, China, and India in reaching the moon. Its probe is part of several new lunar missions launched by governments and private companies five decades years after the first human moon landing. Japan has been expanding its space activities, even forging partnerships with the US to address China's burgeoning military and technological influence. The country is an active participant in NASA's Artemis program and aims to send one of its astronauts to the moon. However, JXA has faced multiple setbacks, including a launch failure in March of the new flagship rocket A3 that was meant to be competitive against others like SpaceX. The lunar lander nicknamed Moon Sniper for its extremely accurate landing precision. About 100 meters, 330 feet, landing ellipse, touched down onto the moon on 19 January 2024 at 1520 UTC at the Sea of Nectar, to the south of the Theophilus Crater. Japan became the fifth nation to successfully soft land an operational lander on the moon after the USA, USR, China, and India. Here's the journey's start. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's JXA Smart Lander for Investigating Moon SLAM, launched late on September 6, 2023, aboard a HIIA rocket from the Tanegashima Spaceport in Japan. Instead of making a direct shot for the moon, SLIM entered an initial low Earth orbit as part of a joint launch with the XRSM X-ray Space Observatory, starting an unusually long but worthwhile voyage to the moon. SLIM could be a powerful tool for the future exploration of the hilly poles of the moon. Those areas are a potential source of resources necessary to sustain life, water, oxygen, and possible fuel. SLIM, which is 2.4 meters in height and has a main body weight of about 200 kilograms, is really small and lightweight compared to existing probes. So we're attempting a technological demonstration in pinpoint landing using this type of equipment, which I think is quite a unique endeavor. The biggest highlight of the landing process will probably be after SLIM begins its final descent when it approaches its target point by verifying the images and finally landing while avoiding obstacles. We expect this process to take about 20 minutes, more or less. Furthermore, once SLIM safely succeeds with its pinpoint landing, it is also scheduled to perform scientific observations of the lunar surface. The probe will be loaded with an equipment called the multiband camera, which will be used to observe and analyze the components of the rocks that are believed to originate from the moon's mantle. At an altitude of 5 kilometers, 3 miles, the lander was in a vertical descent mode, then at 50 meters, 165 feet above the surface, SLIM was supposed to make a parallel movement to find a safe landing spot. The spacecraft was testing technology to allow moon missions to land where we want to, rather than where is easy to land, JXA has said. The spacecraft also was supposed to seek clues about the origin of the moon, including analyzing minerals with a special camera. The SLIM, equipped with a pad each on its five legs to cushion impact, was aiming to land near the Shioli Crater, near a region covered in volcanic rock. On January 19, 2024, SLIM successfully landed on target, deploying its two rovers. SLIM landed on the moon at about 12.20 am Tokyo time Saturday, 15.20 GMT Friday. However, the probe landed in its nose, meaning its solar panels were not oriented correctly to generate power. The spacecraft ran on battery power for several hours before being turned off to allow for a possible recovery of electricity. On January 28, JXA announced that a shift in lighting conditions had allowed SLIM's solar cells to catch sunlight, allowing it to resume its science operations. On Thursday, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, said it had received all data about the landing of its smart lander for investigating moon SLIM probe within 2 hours and 37 minutes after the touchdown. 
We need a more detailed analysis of the data, but the accuracy of the pinpoint landing was probably 3 meters to 4 meters, 10 to 13 feet, the lander's project manager, Shinichiro Sakai, told a news conference. The mission aimed to land within 100 meters, 328 feet, of its target, bettering the conventional accuracy figure of several kilometers. The target was a crater where the moon's mantle, a deep inner layer is believed to be exposed on the surface. JAXET also published its first color images from the mission depicting the aircraft sitting at a slight angle on the moon's rocky gray surface, with rising slopes in the distance. One of the lander's two main engines most likely stopped in the final phase of touchdown, leaving it in the angled position, Sakai said. Despite the success, the mission was not without any issues. SLIM's solar panels have been unable to generate electricity likely because they were angled wrong, expressing hope that a change in the sunlight's direction could power it up again. The agency had shut off its probe three hours after it landed to allow for a possible recovery of the craft. Before switching SLIM off, it was able to download technical and image data from the craft's descent and the lunar surface. JXA hopes to learn more about the moon's possible water resources through vision-based navigation, instrumental in building a base there one day as possible stopovers on the way to Mars. Innovation technologies, according to Kuninaka, SLIM is very likely to have achieved its primary goal, to land on the moon with an unprecedented accuracy of 100 meters, which is a big leap from previous ranges of a few to dozens of kilometers. SLIM used vision-based navigation technology which was intended to image the surface as it flew over the moon and could locate itself quickly by matching the images with onboard maps. It remains unclear whether the car-sized 200kg spacecraft actually touched down in the planned two-step manner. Previous craft landed on four legs simultaneously on a relatively flat area of the moon. SLIM was designed to hit a 15-degree slope outside Shaoli Crater first with one leg at the back of the craft before tipping forward and stabilizing on the four front legs. Observers suggest that SLIM might have rolled during its touchdown, preventing its solar cells from facing the sun. Kumanaka said that not enough data were available to establish the probe's posture or orientation. However, if some sunlight reaches the solar cells, SLIM might come back to life. Two small robots were intended to eject from SLIM before touchdown, says Kumanaka. They were supposed to take images of the lander that they would send back to Earth, but it's unclear whether they deployed. If Salim can come back to life, scientists plan to use a specialized camera, the only scientific instrument on board, to look for a mineral called olivine in the moon's mantle. If we can detect the olivine's components and compare it with its counterpart on Earth, it may offer new evidence to support the theory that the moon was part of Earth long time ago, says Shinichiro Sakai, the mission's project manager at JX Day. Space officials believe that the SLIM's small rovers were launched as planned and that data was being transmitted back to Earth, said Hitoshi Kuminaka, head of the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science, a unit of Japan's space agency. But he said that SLIM's solar battery wasn't generating power and that it had only a few more hours of battery life. He said the priority was for the craft to gather as much data about its landing and the moon as possible on the remaining battery. Vehicle designed as Lunar Excursion Vehicle 2, LEV-2, or Cellray Q, is a tiny rover developed by JXA in joint cooperation with the toy company Tomi, Sony, and Doshisha University. The baseball-sized rover has a mass of 250 grams and is equipped with two small cameras. LEV-2 extends its shape to crawl on the lunar surface using two wheels at its sides, a method of locomotion inspired by frogs and sea turtles. It can run for approximately two hours. It is the second rover of its kind to attempt operations on the lunar surface. The first was on Hakuto or Mission 1, which crashed before it could be deployed. Conclusion Japan was successful in making an unusually precise moon landing just meters from its target, its space agency has announced. Japan became the fifth nation to land on the moon on Saturday, but its spacecraft ended up in an awkward position, with its engine nozzle pointed up towards space.